Hi, and welcome to Party Animals. Power lunches and political debate may be a Washingtonian's M.O., but there's another way to make one's voice heard, through artistic expression. Busboys and Poets is an establishment that encourages this form of expression. Let's take a look. from curbside. I am not pointing to Zimbabwe. I want a cab to take me to Southeast so I can visit my mother. I'm not ashamed to cross the bridge that takes me there. No matter where I live or what I wear, the cabs speed by. Or they suddenly break a few feet away, spewing fumes in my face to serve a fair-skinned fare. So uh, when I was in college, I studied uh, feminism and feminist theory, and Carol Hanesh said the personal is political, and I've uh, carried that throughout my own uh, poetry career. Or what if God was busy with other things? I was just one middle-class disabled girl with decent health insurance. But Fong Lee, which is the young man that I'm going to be talking about, or where, whether it's Trayvon Martin or anyone, right, who's been the victim of some kind of, um, you know, hate crime or um, police brutality or, you know, something, anything racially motivated, that there, every time, you know, something goes out in the media about that, every time that story is being told, there's always a family who's being affected. Um, yeah. I've been a uh, poet and an activist uh, in DC since 1998. So I've seen a lot of uh, change uh, as uh, DC has gone through uh, political movements and presidencies. And at every juncture, I have um, used poetry and been part of a poetry community that um, uses poetry for protest, that uses poetry for celebration. <laughs> Buzz Boys and Poets is a wonderful place to experience this movement. It's fitting that it lies on Langston Hughes' way. As the great poet once wrote, I stay cool and dig all jive. That's the way I stay alive. My motto as I live and learn is dig and be dug in return. Remember to follow us at Party Animals DC on Facebook and Twitter. So stay cool and party on DC.